happened to introduce the VLAN tunnel feature with receiver software 7.5. Uh, what the VLAN feature does is you can basically establish a virtual network between a pack in the field and a receiver in the studio and all the other uh, devices that's connected to these two devices. Here I am on um, the web page of the receiver. You can go to settings, click VLAN, and on this page you need to select which Ethernet port you want to create the virtual network on. There are usually two to four Ethernet ports in the back of the server. Um, in my case, LAN2 has already been used for regular internet activities for the receiver, such as live transmission, VoIP, video download, and stuff. Uh, VLAN1 is unoccupied. This one is open. Um, and this is the VLAN server address. Uh, pre-assigned, um, but it's not uh, effective yet. Uh, so be very careful with uh, the VLAN server because once it's turned on, it will basically turn your receiver into a router server and all the other devices in the same network, at least connected to the network, will be assigned a VLAN IP. Uh, so in this, in this case, I know my v uh, LAN 1 is open. And then I click Apply, it uh, gives you a, a little warning says OK, and then the VLAN is on. It says VLAN, right? You, you cannot edit uh, the information anymore. And you can stop the interface and choose a different LAN port if you want to. So this is done. And then on your PAC side, such as your TV1, you can go to the hotspot page and go to the router page and then configure the IP and the port information of the VLAN server and then uh, your TV1 client will show up here on the right-hand side. And that's it.